The Myanmar made headlines on the 1st of February for the wrong reasons when its military seized control and also detained its elected lawmakers, including the controversial leader Aung San Suu Kyi. The United States has now threatened Myanmar with targeted sanctions. The U.S. President Joe Biden has said that Myanmar's military must relinquish power and that it should release all the lawmakers and activists that it has detained. There can be no doubt in a democracy, force should never seek to overrule the will of the people or attempt to erase the outcome of a credible election. The Burmese military should relinquish power they have seized, release the advocates and activists and officials they have detained, lift the restrictions on telecommunications, and refrain from violence. Now, the United Nations Security Council has called for the release of Aung San Suu Kyi and others detained by the military. The UN body has voiced concerns over the state of emergency, but the Security Council has stopped short of condemning the coup. Earlier, the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres pledged to mobilize international pressure on the military to make sure that the coup fails. The members of the Security Council expressed deep concern at the declaration of a state of emergency imposed in Myanmar by the military on the 1st of February and the arbitrary detention of members of the government, including State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi and President Nguyen Mint and others. They called for the immediate release of all those detained. The members of the Security Council emphasised the need for the continued support of the democratic transition in Myanmar. They stressed the need to uphold democratic institutions and processes, refrain from violence, and fully respect human rights, fundamental freedoms, and the rule of law. Meanwhile, a key aide of Myanmar's leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, was also arrested on Friday. The National League for Democracy issued a statement on the arrest, saying that the Burmese politician, Wen Hitian, was arrested from his daughter's house. The Myanmar's military has continued its crackdown on lawmakers and protesters. According to the activist group, the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners, at least 147 people have been detained in Myanmar since the coup began. The detainees include lawmakers, activists and officials from the ousted government of Aung San Suu Kyi. The lawmakers of the National League for Democracy have gathered to sign a parliamentary pledge of oath at the Saiben government residence. In a show of defiance to the generals, about a dozen of the lawmakers elected in November ballot have convened a symbolic parliamentary session in the quarters where they've been staying since the takeover. Now, several people who are opposing the coup are protesting by making, believe it or not, this is how they're doing it. They're not stepping out onto the streets, but they are banging their pots and pans. And also in the largest city, Yangon, residents banged their pots and pans and other cooking utensils, bottles and plastic containers for nearly about 20 minutes inside of their homes to register their protest. And the military that has taken charge of the country is actually pretty happy to let people bang their pots and pans as a way of protest so long as they don't step out onto the streets. The military authorities have also warned people not to create any kind of instability and there, are pretty, and there are fears that anyone openly defying with street protests could face immediate arrest. The Myanmar's army seized power on Monday, overthrowing popular but the controversial leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, who is detained and now faces possible charges for import infringements. Now, alongside the broader allegation of electoral fraud, previous Myanmar jantas have had a history of bloody suppression of street protests. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.